Our next speaker is Jason Brown of Komodo. Jason's talk today is, what is the Komodo platform? Please help me welcome Jason. Thank you for having me here. Uh, my name is Jason Brown. I'm head of business development at, oh, it's, oh, hold on. Can you hear me now? It's better, I don't think here. <laughs> Hello? Okay, there we go. All right. Hello, my name is Jason Brown. I'm head of business development at Komodo Platform. And today I would like to shed some light on the vast and ambitious cryptocurrency project and expose crypto enthusiasts to the myriad of solutions and projects that Komodo has completed in its efforts to create an interoperable blockchain ecosystem. Komodo's goal is to provide the best technology of different blockchain aspects. To work towards that aim, Komodo Platform combines privacy technology like which is found in Zcash, blockchain development capabilities, like which is found in Ethereum and NEO, and decentralized exchange technologies, like what's found in BitShares and Waves, into a complete package for use by normal users and advanced developers alike. Blockchain technology is an ever-evolving field, and Komodo is no different. Komodo was initially built with cornerstones in privacy and security technologies. It has since evolved into a blockchain application platform which allows developers to build their own autonomous blockchains, utilizing as many or as little features of Komodo that they choose. The future path that we at Komodo seek is to trade, is the inter, create an interoperable blockchain world where average user can use services on multiple blockchains without the hassle that currently is required for doing so. Komodo was forked from Zcash, and this choice to fork from Zcash came from the mathematically provable anonymity provided by ZK Snarts, which allows users to send transactions without revealing identifying information such as addresses Coin and coin amounts used in transactions. Quite serendipitously, Komodo lead developer JL777 was able to add a previously built privacy technology on top of this called Jumbler. So what is Jumbler? Jumbler is a coin mixing and automation application that aids in protecting privacy through automating Z transactions in uniform amounts at random times. Why this is done is Despite the strength of the privacy provided by ZK Snarks, users often unintentionally leave behind traces of metadata that could be used to make highly probable guesses about their entry and exit points of the coins that they're using, such as a unique Mantiza or a whole number amount attached to the coin. And unlike other coin mixers, such as Dash's DarkSend and centralized services like BitMixer, what makes Jumbler unique is that no to at no time are coins sent to a third party. At a low level, the process is actually just sending coins to yourself. Kometo has also made efforts in enhancing blockchain security with its delayed proof of work model. In the Kometo network, 64 nodes are elected in what we call a no notary nodes. These nodes are responsible for sending a group signed transaction to the Bitcoin blockchain containing information about the last valid block hash. This creates a checkpoint system on the Bitcoin blockchain where in the unfortunate event of an attack, developers can reference a known good block hash to begin the recovery efforts. Due to the properties of hash functions, where even one bit of data is changed, the entire hash changes, the secondary layer of protection could be extended to third party blockchains at a fraction of the cost by having them notarized to Komodo. To grant even more cost efficiency, this process can be conducted in a tiered fashion so that a blockchain can receive protection from Bitcoin's hash rate while notarizing to a blockchain that is notarizing to another blockchain that is notarizing to Komodo. Security and privacy are essential to a blockchain. Being public ledgers with some kinds of records, sometimes parties would like to keep their information private and not exposed to the public in any degree that they can prevent. For certain types of information, privacy features are critical, such as credit scores or medical records. 
Security is essential to blockchains for obvious reasons. Out of all the consensus mechanisms out there, proof of work is most provably secure. However, due to the nature of proof of work, it may not be feasible to secure a blockchain with that method for many smaller entities. Delayed proof of work was created with that in mind to, and offers that protection at a fraction of the cost. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it uh, <laughs> didn't go through. There we go. I mentioned earlier that Komodo allows developers to work on their own blockchain applications. It does this through a built-in blockchain creator, and these blockchains that are created through Komodo we call asset chains. So what is an asset chain? An asset chain is a runtime fork of Komodo. They allow a developer to have their own blockchain where they set the rules and have full autonomy. This is in contrast to monolithic blockchain platforms like Ethereum or Ardor. And why Komodo platform chose to go this route instead of the monolithic blockchain route is we experience firsthand what happens uh, when decisions of a parent chain thwart your development. In 2015, JL777 released the Multi-Gateway, a multi-signature proxy token decentralized exchange that utilized the NXT platform. However, due to the current blockchain climate at the time, it was decided to raise blockchain fees, and this rendered the Multi-Gateway ineffectual as the fee increase ate too significantly to the meager profit margins that the service generated. Through asset chains, Developers do not need to go through what we went through when working with an already existing technology. They can receive a template blockchain and have full control over all aspects of their platform. This makes asset chains an attractive alternative to blockchain developers. Compared to Ethereum or token blockchains like Waves, asset chains do require more overhead to initially start. However, it is well worth the cost considering the freedom that it entails. By default, asset chains come with the many of the same features as found in Komodo, such as two megabyte block size and ZK snarks. However, it is also equipped with on-demand mining, which allows operators of asset chain networks to reduce network power consumption by only mining blocks when transactions are detected in the mempool. Many smaller blockchains often mine empty blocks. This amounts to wasted energy. On-demand mining allows energy costs to scale in the early stages of a network based on consumption, and this increases overall efficiency. Asset chains, along with the privacy technology Jumbler and the atomic swap technology Barter Dex that we'll talk about in a moment, allow for a unique take on a familiar blockchain application, the ICO, with our own version, the decentralized ICO. So what makes a decentralized ICO different from a centralized ICO is its ability for the participants to participate anonymously, as well as for issuers to decentralize the reception of funds and distribution of coins. This makes it much harder to be hacked and also provides mitigation against whales buying up all the ICO within minutes, as a whale would have a hard time buying from all locations at once without others having their orders filled. Komodo has worked for a long time on developing atomic swap technology and are proud to bring to you Barterdex, an atomic swap decentralized exchange. Barterdex allows users to trade cryptocurrencies tr trustlessly peer to peer. Unlike other kinds of exchanges, you control the private keys at all times and trade using real coins, not using proxy tokens. Barterdex operates more like an auction house than an exchange, but in, this in no way diminishes it, its utility. Many of the popular exchanges, exchanges have, due to legal obligations, restrictions on who can trade their, on their exchange, both for new coins and users. And often these obligations require um, limits to withdrawals that a user can have per day. Barterdex being a protocol for trustless exchange rather than an entity running an exchange service cuts out the middleman of these transactions. The peers participating in Barterdex handle all the order matching, clearing, and settling and have none of the restrictions that bother people when using centralized exchange services. In addition to being used as a crypto exchange, Barterdex can be launched, used to launch decentralized ICOs, be used as a marketplace for blockchain-based goods and services, or be used independently as a private securitized token marketplace. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Due to incompatible aspects of the Ethereum blockchain for atomic swap technology, such as lack of native multi-signature and it being a balance-based ledger, it took some ingenuity but Komodo was able to deliver on a promise to 
facilitate atomic swaps between Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens in the Cometa blockchain without using relaying nodes to constantly transfer information between the two blockchains. This is done through an intermediate asset chain that we call Atomic. Atomic is a pick to smart contract locked Ethereum and ERC-20 tokens, and they match up with smart contract locked Atomic and Atomic colored coins. When the process of atomic swaps completed, the owner of the atomic locked Ethereum receives their Bitcoin compatible coin, and the owner of the Bitcoin compatible coin receives the information to unlock the Ethereum or token on the Ethereum chain. Currently, this feature is in alpha and being tested thoroughly, as it is a recent development in our ecosystem. However, since the atomic swap mechanism is 99% barter dex code, we expect to have a user friendly GUI by the end of 2018. Uh, currently, we are looking for more beta testers to tel test swapping coins on our platform. We expect this invitation out to anyone who has an interest in this technology. It is important to note that you do not need Komodo to use barter decks. Many coin pairs are available to trade, and if you're leery to using your own coins to test out this technology, the Komodo community would be happy to provide test coins for you to use. Komodo as a platform allows developers to work with a complete autonomy, but to have a complete ecosystem, there must be interoperability and scalability of the chains that comprise that ecosystem. Barterdex provides that interoperability through its atomic swaps, but what about scalability? Komodo developer JL777 and Hush developer Duke Lido have brought forth a new kind of scaling technology called the UTXO Lodger. It allows the extraction of outstanding UTXOs from one or many blockchains to be trans planted onto a new blockchain. Unlike a fork of a blockchain which carries the past history of its predecessor chain, a chain created with a UTXO launcher has no prior history. In terms of scalability, a blockchain such as Bitcoin could use the UTXO launcher, gather all outstanding UTXOs, create a new chain with the same parameters, and a reference to the last block hash of the old blockchain, and archive the old blockchain. This model will allow Bitcoin developers to be less judicial with block size as long-term scalability would no longer be an issue. And when combined with layer two solutions like Lightning Network could allow Bitcoin to overcome several of its major hurdles. You may be thinking, if Barger Dex doesn't require Komodo to use, then what's the purpose of Komodo? Komodo is required to run many of the services in the ecosystem. We have already talked about Jumbler and delayed proof of work. There's another service that requires Komodo to run, and that's zero confirmation trading. This allows people to trade using atomic swaps without having to wait for block confirmations. To do this, Komodo is deposited into a time lock smart contract. And if a party were to back out of a transaction, it will sacrifice the Komodo deposit to the injured party. Beyond this, it's expected Komodo will play an upcoming role in other Komodo developments, such as decentralized poker and gaming, as well as being the currency of choice for revenue sharing among several up and coming Komodo asset chains. The last feature I would like to talk about with Bob uh, Komodo with is the 5% APR reward feature. In the Komodo ecosystem, coin generation is only loosely coupled with its proof of work consensus mechanism. The generation of coins in Komodo is primarily done by sending transactions. From the time of deposit, Komodo accrues a reward of 5% a year. It will not accumulate beyond this until redeemed. The mechanism accounts for approximately 60% of the coin generation in Komodo. We believe that coin generation does not need to be extremely power consumptive like what is found in Bitcoin or Ethereum. It is important to note also that this process is not staking as it doesn't play a role in consensus. It, but it is a nice way for average users to generate coin without having to purchase large amounts of hardware or, or large amounts of stake to take part in the coin generation process. Also, it is highly energy efficient because the reward accumulates even in cold storage. In 2018, we are looking forward to progressing with our technology and our outreach. Technological developments on the pipeline include mobile wallets, improved interfaces for committed products, and the soon to be released Atomic Dex, which is an easy to use version of Barter Dex. We've also made some new hires and are investigating strategic partnerships. I hope this presentation was informative and everyone will leave here today with a greater understanding of the technology that's being worked on behind the scenes. Thank you for your time and attention. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh.
So I had, so hand there. Uh, we just actually got set up with a soft fork. Yeah, sorry, it's not here. <laughs> I, yeah, I wasn't sure. We'd, yeah, we didn't really. Sorry about that. Yeah, but it's at the soft fork. Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, currently, Manaze is, is working, restructuring its model. Uh, if you probably have heard about Wavecrest being uh, shut off from you know, Bitcoin services. That was part of their business plan. Um, additionally, there has been regulatory concerns that they're facing uh, with their company in Singapore. So they are currently working the, those issues out. Um, on the Komodo end of it, though, our, our technology is uh, we're fully ready to launch a DICO. And if Manaze is the first, there's going to be another one very soon. Anyone else? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. <laughs>